Is everybody in? Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. Shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child, my sweet one. Choose the day and choose the sign of your day, the day's divinity. First thing you see. A vast, radiant beach and a cool, jeweled moon. Couples naked race down by its quiet side. We laugh like soft, mad children, smug in the woolly cotton brains of infancy. The music and voices are all around us. Again, the sweet forest. Enter the hot dream. Come with us. Everything is broken up and dances. Scattered on dawn's highway bleeding, ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind. Me and my uh, mother and father and a grandmother and a grandfather were driving through the desert at dawn. And a truckload of Indian workers had either hit another car or just, I don't know what happened. But there were Indians scattered all over the highway, bleeding to death. So the car falls out and stops. That was the first time I tasted fear. I must have been about four. Like a child, it's like a flower. His head is just floating in the breeze, man. The reaction I get now, thinking about it, looking back, is that the souls or the ghosts of those dead Indians, maybe one or two of them, were just running around, freaking out, and just leaped into my soul. And they're still there. Do you know the warm progress under the stars? Do you know we exist? Have you forgotten the keys to the kingdom? Have you been born yet and are you alive? 
Let's reinvent the gods, all the myths of the ages. Celebrate symbols from deep elder forests. Have you forgotten the lessons of the ancient war? We need great golden copulations. The fathers are cackling in trees of the forest. Our mother is dead in the sea. Do you know we are being led to slaughters by placid admirals and that fat, slow generals are getting obscene on young blood? Do you know we are ruled by TV? The moon is a dry blood beast. Gorilla bands are rolling numbers in the next block of green vine, amassing for warfare on innocent herdsmen who are just dying. O oh, great creator of being, grant us one more hour to perform our art and perfect our lives. The moths and atheists are doubly divine and dying. We live, we die, and death not ends it. Journey we more into the nightmare, cling to life, our passion flower, cling to cunts and cocks of despair. We got our final vision by clap, Columbus's groin got filled with green death. I touched her thigh and death smiled. We have assembled inside this ancient and insane theater to propagate our lust for life and flee the swarming wisdom of the streets. The barns are stormed, the windows kept, and only one of all the rest to dance and save us with the divine mockery of words, music and flames temperament. True kings, murderers are allowed to roam free. A thousand magicians arise in the land. Where are the feasts we were promised? Where is the wine, the new wine, dying on the vine? Resident mockery, give us an hour for magic. We of the purple glove, we of the starling flight and velvet hour. We of Arabic pleasures breed, we of sundom in the night. Give us a creed to believe, a night of lust. Give us trust in the night. Give of color hundred hues, a rich mandala for me and you. And for your silky pillowed house, a head, wisdom, and a bed. Troubled decree, resolute mockery has claimed thee. We used to believe in the good old days. We still receive in little ways the things of kindness and unsporting brow forget and allow. Did you know freedom exists in a school book? Did you know madmen are running our prison within a jail, within a gale, within a white free Protestant maelstrom? We're perched headlong in the edge of boredom. We're reaching for death on the end of a candle. We're trying for something that's already found us. Wow, I'm sick of doubt. Live in the light of certain South cruel bindings. The servants have the power. Dog men and their mean women pulling poor blankets over our sailors. I'm sick of dour faces staring at me from the TV tower.
I want roses in my garden bower, dig? Royal babies, rubies, must now replace aborted strangers in the mud. These mutants, blood meal for the plant that's plowed. They are waiting to take us into the severed garden. You know how pale and wanton and thrillful comes death in a strange hour, unannounced, unplanned for, like a scaring, over-friendly guest you've brought to bed. Death makes angels of us all and gives us wings where we had shoulders smooth as raven's claws. No more money, no more fancy dress. This other kingdom seems by far the best, until its other jaw reveals incest and loose obedience to a vegetable law. I will not go. Prefer a feast of friends to a giant family.